Okay, so I'd like to talk about this a new concept called the cache stampede. So we, we've got our use case now. You know, a user makes a request, and the request probably bounces off our cache and returns. Now, if if a user makes the a post request that edits the database, we clear the cache, and on the next request from that user, we go back to the database and update our cache and return to the user. The user submits, we clear the cache, and on the following request, we do the whole chain again. Now, a problem happens when we have many users. Say that one of these guys posts to the database, which writes to the database, which clears our cache. And then the rest of these guys, you know, they're just browsing the site. They all come to the site at the same time. So we've got all these requests coming in to ASCII-chan, and our cache is empty. They're all coming in at the same time. We just cleared the cache, and what's going to happen is they're all going to um, say, okay, the cache is empty, therefore we must all read from the database at the same time. Because they're all like, okay, cache is empty, we need to update the cache. And then bam, 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 they all hit the database, running the exact same query, just so they can store it in the cache. This is called a cache stampede. And what happens is the database gets beat up, and you know, that query that only takes a few milliseconds before, because it's a small database, actually can take a lot of time, or may never return at all, because all of the the, the queries are, are blocking on each other. This was something we saw happen at Reddit. We kind of went through this, this whole process, um, kind of learning as we go. Cache stampedes are, are really painful, but the solution is, is fairly simple. So a cache stampede is when multiple cache misses from so much traffic create too much load on the database. Or not necessarily a database, but whatever slow computation you've got going on that you don't want to do very many of, you know, that you're constrained for resources to compute. Uh, let's have a quick quiz and see if we can uh, figure out the solution to this problem. Okay, how can we avoid a cache stampede? We replicate the database to handle more reads. Only allow one web request at a time. Only allow one database request at a time, or database query at a time. Or don't clear the cache, but instead overwrite it with new data.